Corruption within the imperial court had thrown the land into chaos and caused the people to suffer greatly. In this time of uncertainty, the people found themselves yearning for change. Zhang Zhao, the leader of a religious sect known as the Way of Peace, fanned the flames of rebellion and formed an army. This uprising would later come to be known as the Yellow Turban Rebellion. The threat of the Yellow Turbans loomed like a dark cloud over the Han. Sensing their impending doom, the Imperial Court raised the call for troops across the land. Among those who answered, one was determined to use the turmoil to make a name for himself. His name was Cao Cao, the hero of chaos. With numerous loyal followers, he threw himself into the battle. For within his heart burned a secret ambition, the likes of which the world had never seen. Long past its peak, the Han Empire had nowhere to go but down. However, the might of Cao Cao helped bring an end to the Yellow Turban Rebellion. As a result of his deeds in battle, he was promoted to the rank of colonel. Meanwhile, the Han Imperial Court lost the last vestiges of its authority and influence. It was then that Cao Cao's childhood friend, Yuan Shao, rose to power. We must slay the ten eunuchs who are responsible for this corruption. He gathered together various warlords and eliminated the eunuchs. However, from his position within the Imperial Court, Cao Cao could sense it. The Ten Eunuchs were not the only ones harboring the smoldering sparks of rebellion. For there was another threat, a violent wind capable of toppling the once mighty Han Empire. And that threat had a name, Dong Zhuo, a brutal warlord feared far and wide. said we were fighting for the good of the land. Men flocked to our cause and we claimed victory. But among those men were evil doers like Dong Zhuo. Now he has ultimate power. And it seems our efforts were all for naught. I don't know if the Han will ever be able to bring peace to this land. A fine speech. Very rousing. Yes. Well, uh, we must stop Don Juan. You owe me, remember? You're going to help. Got that? What is it? My lord, Don Juan wants to see you. Chua's power knows no bounds. He's even roped in Cao Cao. The last guy who tried to mess with Lord Dong Chua. Oh, I can't even say it. Nobody messes with Lord Dong Chua. I can never get this right. Yuan Tan is Yuan Shao's oldest son, right? Lord Dong Zhua is frightening, sure, but he's got nothing on Lord Lu Bu. So you're the one resisting our lord. I hear you also have close ties with Yuan Shao. However, not even you can stop him. You'll surely be put to death. Just how long do you plan on keeping our lord waiting? Oh, 
I fear you too will be bitten by Dong Zhuo's venomous fangs, my lord. So you're Cao Cao. You made quite a name for yourself at the Yellow Turban Rebellion. I can tell you have potential, which is why you should come serve me. What do you mean by that? Slaughter all who oppose us. Help me create a land in my image. And what kind of land would that be? Isn't it obvious? A land filled with food, wine, and women. My very own personal paradise. <laughs> I see. A very admirable goal indeed. However, there is no room in such a world for any other than yourself. I have no inclination to serve another. Hm. You are a fool. You give me no choice but to put you to death as well. I might have known they'd have set an ambush. Still, we must not fall here. We to get out of this enclosure first and foremost. We need more men! I will help you escape. A life as valuable as yours must not be lost here. Who are you? And why would you help me? My name is Chen Gong. My conscience can no longer endure Dong Zhuo's tyranny. Quickly, this way. Extraordinary might. He must be avoided at all costs. Here. If we let it loose, the enemy will be thrown into disarray. Ah! A tiger! 
Tiger! The Tiger on the loose! Make haste. Our path is blocked. You we'll have to find some way to clear me. the obstruction. That weapon. I could probably use it myself. Safe from here. It is time for me to take my leave. This land needs a hero like yourself. May the gods favor you, Lord Salsa. long I'll last doing stuff like this. Maybe I should get out of the bodyguard. Then maybe I'll get you a guard dog like Blue Boo. No, 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 no. Hmm. Having managed to elude Dong Zhuo's pursuit, Cao Cao fled the capital. Yuan Shao was forced to retreat to Ji province in the north as well. The other warlords also escaped the capital and returned to the homes which they had left behind. As waves of tyranny washed over the capital, only the sound of Dong Zhuo's cruel laughter could be heard.
it seemed as if the land was doomed to be shrouded in chaos. Yet Cao Cao, who was at his best in times of adversity, had already prepared his next move. He raised troops and sent a call to arms to the various warlords across the land. His aim was to form a coalition against Dong Zhua, with Yuan Shao as its leader. And so, Yuan Shao, Cao Cao, and numerous other brave souls began their march on the capital to confront Dong Zhua. Which side would emerge victorious? The harbingers of a new age, or the tyrant who epitomized the evil that men do? The answer would soon be revealed on the field of battle. The people are suffering at the hands of Dong Zhua. We must defeat him in order to save them. The people are... I'm with you all the way, Lord Liu Bei. You're our hero. Dong Zhua is the puppet master behind the Emperor, right? Then it's time to cut those strings. Dong Zhua's rampage has destroyed this whole area. I don't even have a house to go home to. Hmm. Can I help you with something? Wow, you're like some kind of tough guy or something. There's something not quite right with you, isn't there? Look, it's Dian Wei. Uh, don't catch his eye. He's dangerous. It's ironic, really. It takes a truly evil man to unite divergent forces against him. Sha Ho Yuan, did you happen to see the people on your way here? People fleeing with the last of their earthly possessions. The scarred rice fields. Quite the crew we've gathered here, wouldn't you say, cousin? I guess. I'm not fond of crowds. <sighs> you always have to go and ruin my fun. Wow, look at all these famous warriors. So, who are you? I hear Cao Ong was born to Lord Cao Cao and Lady Liu before her unfortunate death. To keep moving! In this cold, you have to stay warm, or you'll pull a muscle! I have to make a name for myself in this battle. I've got a family to feed, you know? I hear Lord Cao Cao and Lord Yuan Shao are old friends. But Lord Yuan Shao is much more famous now. It's so cold! We 
are with you, Lord Sun Jian. Together we can overcome anything. I will fight to protect every last member of our family and our clan. Therefore, I refuse to accept defeat in this coming battle. Lord Yuan Shao intends to take this opportunity to unite the land. I'd follow him too. Yuan Shao's got a real glow to him. An aura, even. Rest assured, we are fighting for the most righteous of causes. Fear not! Step forth and be proud, for to battle we march! We must capture Hulao Gate and defeat Dong Zhuo. First, we must seize Sushui Gate. Step forward if you want to die. While I stand, none shall breach this gate! Pitiful! Is there no one who has the courage to stand up to Hua Xiong? My opponents never live to tell the tale! Dong Zhuo's rampage must be stopped here. For my children's generation, if not for my own. So you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. Victory is I more than earned my reputation. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall see. That's another enemy pounded into submission. Always inspiring to be with talent. Well done. I couldn't do better myself. I'm so hungry. Come on, man! Remember, we are the proud troops of Lord Sun Jian! What's all this? Is Sun Jian not feeding his troops then? Vital supplies have not arrived. I believe it was your task to ensure that they did, Yuan Shu. Remember your efforts. Come on, you cowards! 
I'll take you all on. Hey, who's that? He's got real guts, whoever he is. Fight this battle with us. Dong Zhuo's regime brings only suffering and hardship to the people. It is our duty to bring them emancipation. Time to send in the supply troops. This one is heroic. I guess I need to pick up the pace. Submission. This battle will determine the final victory. Give it everything you have. shall see. The 
enemy general, Hua Xiong, has fallen before me. He's too strong! Magnificent. I am impressed. <laughs> we don't need him. Now he's done it. He's gone and got him mad. Sushui Gate is ours. Only who has been remains. <laughs> Don't 
make me laugh. Great job! And now it's my turn. I've more than earned my reputation. Retreat is not necessarily to lose. Inspiring to view such talent. It is skill like that which made you my officer. Now I must work hard to ensure that you do not surpass me. Halt! I shall stop your rampage! Assume a defensive formation! We must protect the main camp! Never let them tell the tale! You will learn to regret this moment. That's another enemy pounded into submission. This one is heroic. I guess I need to pick up the pace. into submission. I must not die here. I shall withdraw for now. Fine work, Shaho Yuan. You are an example to us all. Almost as quickly as they had come, the winds of tyranny disappeared from the land. Faced with the onslaught led by Cao Cao, Dong Zhua was driven from Luoyang. In his new capital of Chang'an, he soon found himself betrayed and murdered by his retainer Lu Bu. For a time, the land knew peace once more. However, with nobody to rule, this newfound peace was tenuous at best. If only there was a hero who could unite the land. Powerful though he was, Cao Cao was yet one warlord among many. It was then that remnants of the Yellow Turban Army rose up again. They moved from Qing Province, looking to assassinate the Viceroy of Yan. Having made a name for himself in the battle against Dong Zhua, Cao Cao was requested to come to the assistance of Yan Province. What do you think you're doing? 
hunting tigers. <laughs> what are you leading the enemy here for? Ah, I'll get rid of them for you. It's them! You teach them a lesson, will you? They feed me once, and now I've got to look after their sorry hides. Hmm. You might be worth the trouble. Our enemy is the Yellow Turbans, though they have no officers of note left. But they still have numbers, and their tenacity must not be underestimated. I was hunting tigers, but I seem to have caught something better. He's strong, and I can vouch for his courage. He'd make a good bodyguard. Very well. He's hired. I'm your bodyguard? Are you sure? Hmm. You come with the highest recommendation. He's your commander. <laughs> yep. You'd better get used to it. 